What up, people? Rishab here, and Merry Merry Christmas, y'all. Do you see this case in the background? This is a really old PC case I had just lying around. So, as usual, my crazy mind thought up of of a crazy idea, right? So, all right. In this video, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to convert this old PC case into an open frame test bench. That's right, a test bench. I absolutely loved those things when I first saw them, an open PC case test bench thing, and I've always wanted that forever. So yeah, this would be like a Christmas present to myself. So there's not much to say. If you don't know what a test bench is, pause this video right now. Go look it up. After you're done, we'll get along on the same page, and we'll get going. So are you done? I'll assume you are done, and let's just get into tinkering in this merry, merry spirit. Ho, 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 ho. And just like that we are done. I just love making this. This turned out to be super amazing guys. Like honestly I had something similar in mind and I, I didn't like yeah I'm kind of sentimental right now because <sighs> look at this thing man it, it, it turned out super great. All right so on the closing notes just I'll just explain how I'm gonna use it. So the motherboard like this can I think pretty much fit uh, micro ATX not full ATX or probably full ATX no not full ATX it just has four of the expansion slots but whatever the motherboard will fit somewhere over here and then we have four expansion card slots so this thing for that I cut and shifted the power supply bracket down here so the power supply just slides from the side will fit very good on the bottom the air intake for that would be on the bottom so there's also ample space for that uh, there's the top part which is kind of empty now since the power supply shifted on the down so this could be like a space for later upgrade like i can put a radiator or a pump if i want to do water cooling or something so this space is kind of empty for that uh, this four of these slits where I can put like a headphone jack or a USB slot so that's also helpful for testing so yeah these four slots 
Now at the bottom there's pretty much your basic stuff. There's a slot for a 2.5 inch SSD or an HDD. So that goes here. There's also a slot for 3.5 inch uh, hard disk. So there's that and some more expansion things I can fit probably um, other testing things like a CD drive or something. I don't know something else. But yeah, there's lots of holes and lots of brackets. So can sit fit probably something new. Now for the fan situation, I am thinking I can put two 80mm fans over here. So the, there's like holes already over here, so that's perfect. So the fans would go over here. And I can also use this slot for fans, like these slots, you can use that. And yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Like it has a sturdy build since I, fixed everything, attached everything, it has ample ventilation obviously because it's an open case and I'm gonna skip on spray painting this because I think it will just ruin the natural DIY vibe of this like I want it to look like I made it from a case so I'm not gonna spray paint it it should look as bare bones as it looks like the steampunk vibe, I just love it alright so yeah, let's just end this video on a good note and put this down as a very successful project in one of my projects. Alright, thank you so much for being a part of this tutorial, not a tutorial, being a part of this DIY video and yeah. So that was it. Hope you guys liked the test test bench that I made well it was a test bench so yeah that was all for me today and until the next one guys Merry Christmas catch you in the next one